The Wooden Royal Fences of Thomas the Tank Engine, Episode 7, Christmas Crisis. After many months of raiding, December had finally arrived on the island of Sodor, and with it came the great spirit of the winter holidays. Everyone was kept very busy with the preparations for the upcoming Christmas celebration. Passengers were plentiful, and there was lots of freight work for all the engines. Even Rust was in good spirits. Instead of boasting about how grand he was, he sang Christmas carols with all the other engines, spreading the holiday cheer. On December 24, Scarlo and Robert were at the steamworks. They were having their real soiled. Just then, Sir Tom had arrived. Robert, he said, I have an important job for you. Oliver was going to bring in the Christmas special to Tim and Sheds where the party will be held, but he's broken down on the viaduct. I need you to go and collect him and bring the train over to Tim and Sheds. Yes, sir, said Robert, and Sir Tom had walked away. Scarlowe noticed that Wilbur wasn't looking very happy. What's wrong, Wilbur? he said. Oh, nothing, said Wilbur. Are you still feeling sad about that forest fire you caused? asked Joe the motorcycle. <sighs> yes, said Wilbur. Wilbur, said Scarlowe, that was just an accident, and accidents happen all the time. You sh You just need to... Get over it, okay? You're right, said Wilbert. I should. Besides, it's the Chris. It's almost Christmas. I should be getting into the holiday spirit. And Wilbert hurried away to find Oliver. Meanwhile, Gordon was at Everett Station. He was waiting for his passengers to arrive when Sir Tom had walked up. Gordon, he said, I won't be needing you to pull the express today. I will have James take it. But why, sir? asked Gordon. Because, said Tom, I have a special holiday treat for you. And into the station came the flying Scotsman himself. Gordon was thrilled to see his brother on Sodor for the holidays, and he and the flying Scotsman went to Tim Sheds to talk. Wilbur, meanwhile, had found Oliver on the viaduct. Come on, Oliver, said Wilbur. Let's go. He started to pull Oliver away. Oliver's Christmas special included a flatbed with a Christmas tree on it, a flatbed with a motto of Santa in his sleigh, and a car full of presents, along with Toad the brake van. Wilbur passed by the yard. He stopped and uncoupled Oliver so he could shunt him into a siding so he could be repaired. But Oliver was very sad. What's wrong, Oliver? said Wilbur. I think Mr. Oliver is sad because pulling the Christmas special was his job, and now that he's broken down, he's not going to be able to pull it and join the party, said Toad. Oh, I can understand that, said Wilbur. Tell you what. How about I pull Oliver along with the train? Then it'll look like he's pulling it too. And then I can take Oliver to the scene works after the party. Oh, that would be very nice, Wilbur, said Oliver. Thanks. No problem, said Wilbur. And he cobbled Oliver back up to the train and pulled him and the tr train away. Terrence and Duck were already at the sheds when Wilbur and Oliver arrived. Right on time, said Duck. Let's get these cars unloaded quickly. Soon, everything was prepared. The Christmas tree was placed on one end of the turntable. Offer and Toad were moved into a signing, and Wilbur took the empty trucks away back to the yard. Night soon came, and soon everyone was on their way to Timid Sheds for, to celebrate the party.
Soon, everyone was present and accounted for, except Wilbert. Wilbert had been forced to take a much longer track back to the timid station, and he was hurrying so he wouldn't miss the lighting of the tree. Wilbert could see the entrance in the distance. Wait for me, wait for me, he said, and he hurried around the bend. Then there was trouble. Logan was shunting a freight car full of logs over the, over the points. Wilbur couldn't stop. The tracks were icy and he was going too fast. Wilbur went flying into the air and crashed right into the Christmas tree and came falling down onto his side. Whoa, cried Bolchi. What happened? Wilbur crashed into Logan's log car, said Russ, and because he was going so fast and hit the log car so hard, he went flying into the air and crashed into the Christmas tree. Unbelievable, said Offer. Wilbur, are you alright? I'm fine, said Wilbur, but he was obviously hurt and he was badly damaged. So Tom had rushed over to the Christmas tree. It had been flattened and the star on the top was broken into low pieces. Oh dear, said the Tom Hat. This is a Christmas crisis. Percy soon brought the breakdown train and put Wilbur back on the track. Oh dear, said Wilbur. This is terrible. I've ruined everyone's Christmas. No, you haven't, said Thomas. Thomas is absolutely 100% correct, said Squalloey. We don't need a tree to celebrate Christmas. Christmas, it's about spending time with your family and friends and celebrating the real spirit of the holidays. Besides, everyone knows that there is such thing as forgiveness, and I think we should all be willing to forgive Robert for his little mistake. And all the engines and road vehicles, even Diesel, had to agree that Wilbur did deserve to be forgiven. And all agree that despite everything that happened, this was one Christmas that they would remember for the rest of their lives.